Your Cairo is like a, a good lover. <laughs> it gives me pleasure, uh, freedom and uh, yeah, joy as well. Vite, aéro et rigide. Always in the Tour de France, everybody wants to win, so if you don't take a risk, you, you, don't, you don't win, so je suis deux ou trois, je sais pas. Trois, trois c'est super. Parce que ouais, c'était vite. La partie la plus que je préfère sur le Orca Aero, je pense, c'est c'est la vitesse qui, qui prend et qui s'est gardée. Il est super aéro et, et pour moi, c'est vraiment bien. Long days, long and nice. You feel? Now, I don't even know, lady. Take it. Si je dois décrire le Orca Aero Orbea, euh, je pense que ce serait euh, vite, aéro et rigide. Mon goût à Buccio, la bici. Orbea, on la catale, c'est un vrai. Putain, il reste good, mais Dan, moi je <laughs> Your Cairo is like a, a good lover. <laughs> it gives me pleasure, uh, freedom, and uh, a joy as well. Your Cairo is just a pretty versatile bike. I mean, it's fast. It's agile. As my type of rider, I'm more interested in uh, the aerodynamics. It's more a more brute style, you know, the Aero is not like the, the real finesse, but I like it more and uh, it's just uh, proven to be the king of them all. It's a killer. The, the Orca era in three words, speed. Uh, it's just fast. Hey, you know you going down. Yeah! Oh, I only need one word really to describe it. It's just super fast, especially in a straight line. Fast, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 I'm going dumb. I'm trying to live it and stop. Get in the thing that I want. Remember, I oh, that was close. <laughs> I've seen described you as a Swiss knife, that you are like uh, capable of doing almost anything. That's a really nice compliment. Yeah, that's been my goal this year is to become more well rounded in the climbs. Uh, racing Ardennes and stuff, and then obviously the sprints. I've done a lot in the past with Caleb, and now with Arno, and that's what I enjoy. That's what I'm sort of naturally good at. Um, yeah, I'll take that Swiss knife compliment. That's good. So, so every rider has his his um, own physical capacities. It's like you're born with this. You you spoke about Jared, for example. It's a good example. He can do a little bit of everything in positioning. So then is the question, do we use Jared for a sprint lead out? So we have to train him more like explosive to have more power, or do we train Jared to survive, for example, a big mountain and then place Maxim for the second mountain? And then you need another approach because surviving mountains, then you have to um, train differently than uh, doing a sprint lead out. It's the same you could you could do with, for example, with Arnaud. You can make him better in the climbs, which should make him a little bit less good in the flat stages, like pure explosivity. Or you can try to make a pure sprinter of him, 
but then you will be less in climbing. But it's not his nature to be a pure sprinter. So then you work a little bit against his nature. So every rider has his nature and you can bend a little bit towards the parkour, but um, it also has its limits. So Maxime will never win a bench sprint in the Tour and Arnaud will never win a mountain stage. That's super clear. Why did you choose today the aero bike instead of the climb bike? Because we have just 2,000 meters of elevation. And the final climb is uh, not too steep, so speed will be high. So I haven't changed a lot on the, the orca towards the tour because uh, I think it's dangerous before a big goal to like changing things because uh, the stress already gets high enough because the things are coming up. So it's like better to stay in the trusty position and uh, not change too much. So in the tour, there's a, you have sprint stages, you have time trials, you have mountain stages. So every every stage has its own setup for the riders, depending on uh, the depth of the wheels, the gearing, uh, even the setup of the bike. Uh, it all comes down to, to millimeters, saddle height, uh, whatever. Uh, so every day we ask for the request of the riders, they give their preference, and in the evening we make sure that preference is like they, they want it. Examples? For example, Arnaud de Lee, what he likes for the tour on his bike, uh, he likes a light bike, uh, stiff as possible. Sometimes he changed from a 54 to a 55, 56 even for a sprint, uh, wind in the back, uh, slightly downhill. Uh, this kind of stuff is what the riders ask for us. compare the orca to a lion. I would compare the orca arrow uh, to a cheetah that's super fast. <laughs> Again, fast.